What's up, what's up, friends? My name is Rebecca and today is a very special video for you guys. Today is Cyber Thursdays, the Q&A video, episode one. Now, as usual, I've got Eliza with me. Can't make her wave, otherwise it will just ruin the illusion. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the questions right now. So, first question is from a really good buddy of mine. It's from Dark Live Dreamer. Watch his videos. YouTube link is in the description below. Cool update, Kiwi. Thank you. Uh, thank you once again for the shout out. It, it, uh, it means the world to me that you'll enjoy my video. Just horror. What do you expect? I love horror. Have you looked around me? Uh, for the Q&A, the question, the question I always ask people in the first q and is Why did you choose your YouTube name and what inspired you to do YouTube videos? That's two questions, but I still love it either way. <laughs> so, why did I choose my YouTube name? Right, my YouTube name comes from my nickname, which is Raver Kiwi Bow, which a friend gave to me yeah, after 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 he found out I really liked a car called Raver Karibo from Yu-Gi-Oh, and had a, like a Raver mohawk, and it was amazing. So pretty much he joined me and I see named it Rainbow Kiwi Bow. I really liked it. Everyone kept calling me Rainbow Kiwi Bow and it kind of stuck. So, what I did, yeah, was I had a YouTube channel previously called Sapphire Blue 496. Didn't like my content. Did not know how to make videos. So I deleted the channel instead. Made a new channel. Was thinking about a name. Didn't want Sapphire anymore. So I thought, oh, I have a new nickname. Let's just, 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 just put that in there and Rainbow Kiwi Bow was born. Yay! That's just a quick explanation. If you want more, if you want more details, I'll do that in a separate video. But second question: What inspires you to do YouTube videos? Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Tom Scar, and also and also the fact that I like I want to help people, and hopefully with being me, hopefully I can make someone at least one person smile. You're doing a very bad day. So it's pretty much making people, so what inspired me to do YouTube video? Happiness. Making people happy. Because what? I have a sense of humour. That's why. <laughs> but um, people like, you know, Markiplier, Jack Sceptikai, and Tom Scar were the few people who actually inspired me to do YouTube. So, thank you Dark Light Dreaming for your, for your questions. I look forward to the next Outlast video. Because, dude, they're awesome. Yes. So, next questions are from Mythos from Frost and Fists. Hello. Also, Mata Kiwi, thank you so much for the shout out. You're very welcome. I will happily do shout outs for your channel. If I, when I watch it, I'll watch it. And then, if I like your content, you're good. So, for my Q and for your Q and A, how did you and Kuja meet? What kind of music do you prefer? And who's your favorite Monster High? Much love, my friend. Wolf on the meets us. Love much back, my friend. Mwah. So, how did you and Kuja meet? Well, we meet met at a Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh. That's a word. <laughs> a Yu-Gi-Oh regionals, and we kind of clicked. You know, I kind of fell in love with him. I shouldn't really have because I was with someone else at the time. But I wasn't gonna cheat. That I did right. But um, it ended up that the both the person I was with broke up with me pretty much a day after regionals. Me and Mark were talking for five months. I asked him out on the 24th of April, 2015. And after five months, we got together. And then stuff happened, and then I moved in. And now, nearly two years later, hello. So, I am still here. And we're still going strong, so. That is a good... So, next question is, what, type, what kind of music do I prefer? I prefer a range of music. So, I like stuff like Nightcore, which is quite nice, because some of the songs actually sound better, high-pitched and faster, as opposed to the original speed they were made from. Um, I do enjoy some Metallica. I do enjoy some Metallica, yes. Uh, stuff like System of Down, I do listen to a few Iron Maiden songs. You know, my phone's vibrated, that's what that sound was, if you could hear it, if you can't, that's great. <laughs> and, um, recently, 
I got we um I got into a um band called uh, Seasons of Ghost, which I am falling in love with, and I want more of the albums downloaded so I can listen to it more and more and more, and it's awesome, and I like it. So this type of music I prefer I prefer anime, high pitched, fast, nightcore, and heavy metal. That's my life, people. Um, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite monster? Who's your favourite on Monster High? I'm assuming you mean in the show. I'm going to answer this both. I'm going to answer Doe and Show. Um, my favourite on Monster High, or as in the actual show, um, has to be Jackie, Laura and Rochelle. I know if I had to pick one, it would be Rochelle. Because Rochelle is adorable as fuck. I mean, I have like four, five of these. She's adorable. I love her. And she's she's very sweet and she's a gargoyle as I found out. So, um, my favorite doll, however, I I will always go back to my lovely little um mage, which is Luna. I love this one a lot. She's my favorite and she's 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 pretty much the first custom 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 doll. I ever did where you know I changed the clothes, you know, did a makeup, changed her hair, stuff like that. But, yeah, so that's both Doll and the actual show. So, rip here! No sponsors, which I did. Move on! <laughs> Next question is tat from Tattoo for You. Hey, Richard. Uh, very cool, my friend. Que uh, question. Uh, uh, question. What was your very first Monster High Doll? So. I had to think about this one, and I had to think about this one very intensely, because this was a hard question. But, um, the first Monster High doll I ever got was Skeletor, which is, um, as you know, I did a um, overview of Victoria, who is made from Skeletor. And I love Skeletor. She has the most amazing body mold ever. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want a, who doesn't want a small skeleton? Really. It's amazing. She's awesome. And if I could get more, I would. But she's really hard to find. So. That was my very first Monster High doll. And actually, my dad bought, bought um, Skeletor for me. Because um, I was watching doll repaints. And I, found, and I found her on one of the repaints. And I was like, she looks pretty. I want her. And um, I was such for eBay. And I actually found it. And sent mum and Link. And she lied to me. And go, someone else bought it, and when it's really, my dad bought it. Sorry, I have a broke nose, I do apologise. Cheeky bastards. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, Skeletor was my very first Monster High doll, and there's a lot of facts about her that are very interesting, so. Thank you for your question. And last and most foremost, uh, freak from the Frost and, F Frost and Fists. I probably says Frost and Freak on Methods this one. I'm so sorry. It's Frost and Fists, people. Frost and Fists. Yes, or Fists, apparently. Frost and Fist. Frost and Fist Freak asks, awesome. I, I get to, uh, awesome, I get to ask, ask a question. Woot. <laughs> I'm glad you, you like ask, asking questions. I like answering them. Uh, which project gave you the most fit? Which project have have you the most pleasure? And what was the log longest project? Cheers. Much love. Mwah. Oh, sorry, Doc. I, 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 mi I missed Richard and Dark Light. This is about for you. Mwah. So, uh, which people? Which project gave you gave me the most fit? Ah, uh, the most awkward one. What is my most awkward one? <laughs> I'm looking around now, I forgot to think about this one. This one was also a hard one. Which one gave me the most trouble? <sighs> hmm. Which one did I want to throw across the room? <sighs> actually, it's actually the one of my most favorite dolls. She gave me so much anger. When I was actually making her. Because, you know, she wouldn't sit properly. Her eyes wouldn't blend well. Her hair wouldn't stick well. I had to change her costume like four or five times. 
you know, I had to, I she actually has bigger boobs than most of the Monster High dolls. So I was getting the boobs symmetrical and then having to redo it because the boobs aren't. She gave me the most awkward time repainting her and rebuilding her. But she's, she's got to be one of my most favourites of all of them. Because I put so much, like, anger. I just wanted to chuck her across the room. But the one the one doll that gave me so much grief is the one that is my favourite. So, this one. She's trouble. Watch out for Lunas. <laughs> uh, second question is, which project can have you the most pleasure? Um, the project that had me the most pleasure was actually my my Freak to Chic um, project. All of these and the big one behind. Um, the reason being is because I've always liked the interest in I shall be right back. Right, I am back. Uh, which project have you the most pleasure? It has to be my Circus to Freak projects. Um, I love them all to bits, and they were the most fun. Um, I will do it again, you know, with other series of Monster High. So, it was cool, and they all look demonized and creepy and amazing. So, yeah, I'll do my Freak to Sheiks. In Pacific was actually, um... This one right here, she was very fun to paint, and I actually um replaced her body with an from another doll, but she was really fun to paint, and she has amazing hair. So all pretty much all the feed the sheets is my most best project. No, not project. Uh, the the project that gave me the most, yeah, the project that gave me the most joyous out of like doing it. So. And uh, what was my longest project? My longest project is going to be the FNAF, FNAF series, my um, FNAF dolls. Because a lot of the times I would have to, um, I, you know, I had to wait for the marionette's body to come through. I had to repaint the marionette, and then I had to do Freddy, which I put off for so long. And then I had to do Bonnie, and then I had to do Chica, and then I had to do Foxy. I think all in all it was about a month, maybe a, um, one and a half months. So, that was my longest project. So, thank you guys for all of your questions. I enjoyed answering them. And I hope you like these. If you want to see more of these, comment down below with more questions. I would love answering them. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And as always, I will see you in the next Jolly video. Stay plastic.